become the official opposition, which would be <clears throat> a great statement if they did that. Um, oh, absolutely. I would love to see, like, the majority of Canada vote Quebecois just to just to send a message to the top two that we're not voting for either of you. Um, I would be I, heartbroken if the Quebec wall fucking hit big. Oh, yeah, it would be absolutely detrimental to the country if it if it happened, but it would be such a great message to the conservatives and the liberals that, no, we just, we won't, we're, we'll, we're willing to go Quebecois over you. Um, that would be fantastic. I really wish Sockwell Day could pull out his Reform Alliance party and uh, and run it this year. I think that would be great. Uh, I didn't like him. I strictly didn't like the looks of him. I didn't like him either. He was a smarmy guy. I didn't like him. I do now. I, I give him more credit than I did at the time. Um, and I think he would be a good alternative. If you listen to Joe Clark and he did what uh, their party is kind of designed to do, um, it would be better than what we're going to get stuck with. Because we're going to get stuck with um, Uber Trump, the guy who's just trying to out Trump Trump. And we don't, we don't share that value. We can't, we can't be American in, uh, as we run our country or we get more, four more years of just this God awful, what we've been going through. Um, no, I hope not. I really hope not. Either way, what we're looking at is four years. Like you, you might as well just uh, put in your headphones until 2023. Yeah. Because all, it doesn't matter who wins. All we're looking at is four years of dismantling the last four years and redoing them. Uh, yep. Either Justin is going to correct all his mistakes or Andrew Shear is going to erase everything he did. Either way, it's just four years of no progress, just going back and fixing the, the past four years' mistakes. Uh, it's going to be a very hard time to get any money from the government. It's going to be a hard time to get anyone to agree on anything. It's, we're, it's just going to be four wasted years, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it sucks when this happens. Uh, this is kind of what they handed to Kim Campbell and said, hey, okay, you want to be the first women uh, prime minister? Here you go, have this bag of shit for a couple months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, uh, no no offense to Kim Campbell. She's a wonderful lady. But uh, they, they just, you know, you can't hand someone a flaming bag of poo and wanna, expect them not to step on it. It's... Uh, that's that's what she got, and then oh look at the first women prime minister. She sucked. Well, no, she didn't suck. You can't. She just she couldn't. She just she didn't have. She had nothing to go with. No, you, you can't hand someone a, a melting candle and try to get them to put it back together. No. Um. I'm trying to come up with a good metaphor, then. whatever. Later, I will. I'll have a brilliant one by the end. I promise. I'll be. And it won't matter anymore. But, yeah, we're looking at a shitty four years. And whoever the opposition to well, unless we get a minority government, in which case we're probably looking at a shitty two years and another election. Yeah, but which is no, a, no. That's what the polling is showing we're in for now is a Trudeau minority, which will be a nightmare uh, because every everything that happens in a minority government depends on the opposition agreeing with it. Um, we have that situation in B.C. right now. We have a minority government. It's horrid. Yeah, I was just saying, how well is that working out? Oh, they, 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 the, the Greens can hamstring them anytime they want. The only reason the Greens aren't is because then they lose two. Um, so you end up with two parties not doing anything they said they would because one can't lose the support of the other and the other wouldn't be in a position of power without the first one. So if they both lose if they do anything extreme that they promised to do when they got in. So it, nothing really is accomplished. You end up with a goddamn pipeline fight that goes on for two years, even though you bought it and paid for it, and you're just sitting on it. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, um, fucking stupid. The Greens aren't going to completely uh, say no to anything because then they're out. They only have the like the one deciding vote, and if they don't yeah. if they don't vote with the NDP, then they don't get to be in the spotlight anymore. And the NDP isn't going to do anything anti-green because they can't lose that support. So nobody does anything. It's a minority government is such a stupid thing. You should just have an automatic revote. Why? Why pretend it's going to work? It never does. No, it doesn't ever. Ever. 
it would it would be like if if you and I didn't have equal say. One one of us got to always have more say than the other on the show. Then you know, guess what? Guess whose ideas go through every time? Yeah. Um, which is why the show is called "What If We're Right" because you can't just call for what it is, which is what's why is Gord always right. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> I was talking about that last night. I was like, it wasn't that long ago that it was in it just me. <laughs> Maybe it should be called could still be. Or <laughs> <laughs> Eric and Gordon. And then I'll argue it and prove you wrong anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, Gord's right, but he doesn't have a show anymore dot com. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, funny because it's true. <laughs> and I could just what happened to Gordon? I don't know. He just stopped answering the phone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. But he's on everybody else's fucking shows now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just lying your way in. Yeah, I love sewing. I'd love to be on your sewing podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Jeez. Actually, it's funny you mentioned that because uh, somebody on the podcast group had mentioned about they do it. They're doing an investigative. Uh, journalistic uh, sort of show and they're looking for having people that are like like minded so all these people are calling in saying oh like I was a I did uh, some investigative journalist for many years and I did this and all, all these amazing credentials and I really considered thinking I should really just fucking sign them saying I watch serial killer documentaries <laughs> you should I would love to see you go on every podcast but and, and not even just throwing your own spin on things but just whatever topic they're on you're just super you like I mentioned sewing you just be like, oh, this motherfucking thimble is like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking so crochet. Funny. I just blast a big blunt and fucking crochet my goddamn face off. <laughs> Have you ever gotten so high that you forget that you're crocheting? <laughs> <laughs> my friend Mandy just recently posted these tea cozies, but they totally look like vaginas. Oh, really? And I just love that the word is actually crotcheted. <laughs> yeah, crotcheting is awesome. I love crotcheting. Uh, if you were that so high, you forgot you were crocheting. See, shit like that would be awesome. <laughs> um, this is this is Betty Ann's gardening podcast, with, where we talk about gardening with our friend Gord. <laughs> I love these. I- Fucking love this shit. You <laughs> fucking Mary Gold smell goddamn fucking delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Their ratings would just go through the fucking roof. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Uh, yeah, it's funny. That's not a good Gordon impersonation, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so, um, I didn't have time to impersonate anybody today. It was a busy day. Um, where was I? I don't remember. That's it. Trump sucks. Oh, right. oh yeah, we're on. We're on Trudeau. Yeah, fuck you. Um, Trudeau sucks. Fuck you. <laughs> basically, that's that's it from now for the next hundred days. Hundred days till uh, election day. Uh, hopefully, Jack Meat pops up somewhere. At least he'll be entertaining for us. Um, because Lord Lord knows we couldn't ask for three better contenders for a podcast. Oh, uh, we're gonna have just so much itself. to talk about. <laughs> it literally just writes itself. We just get to sit back and just throw our two cents worth at it. Oh yeah, it's it's the best. I really I have to go invest in the radio, uh, so I can start listening to CKNW and see what uh, all the guys that steal our show or used to steal our show. I haven't listened in the last year. I don't know if they're still doing that. Probably more so than ever now. I would think. But um, oh, I would have to assume so. Yeah, that's why we got the boost in rating. What they have to say about it. Um. I would actually really like for Christy Clark to get her show back. Um, she never has to work again, so she probably won't. But <coughs> I very much respected her opinion when she had her radio show. And uh, that was one of the reasons she tricked me into liking her. Yep, never listened to it. I have no idea what you're talking about. But now that, uh, now that you know the smoke is cleared, if she went back to the radio, I'd probably listen and respect her again. I she was a terrible premier. Um, she's a big fat liar. But but uh, yeah, I'd listen to her again. I really like her show. She's good. She's a great radio host. Yeah. 
Um, I would say I'd listen, but we both know I wouldn't. I was sad that she couldn't keep the show and be the premiere. But you're not allowed to do that. No. Because you might come across as a little biased. <laughs> just, just a tad. Um, yeah, talk about the liberal media. The leader of the liberal party ran it. Jesus. That would be, uh, that'd be fun. Uh, it'd be like Fox News, except different, more liberal. Um, so, yeah, so leaders, and we're all in for just as ours wraps up, theirs will get going. And then we'll see Trudeau go make an ass out of himself, introducing himself to the new whoever it is. Could be Bernie Sanders. He's he's going at it again. Um, Trump's got his work cut out for him. Uh, I don't know, because the problem with the problem in the U.S. is that, again, it's the same as Canada. The problem is, is that you're just going – the people opposing are just so far extreme that they're trying to outdo each other with extremism. Well, exactly. That's that's why we got Obama, and that's why we got Trump. Uh, we, yeah. got, we got the anti-Bush, the least Bush-like person out there. That's the only reason Obama won. And then he did, right. he did fuck all for eight years. Um, and then we went, okay, well, if, uh, he didn't make it the black house, he didn't spend the defense budget on spinning rims. So he was a big disappointment. Um, <laughs> you gotta get the spinners. <laughs> that's what we thought it was going to be. I totally thought he was just going to be like, it's the black house now, bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shows up wearing fucking, uh, fubu clothing. And <laughs> but he did not. I, uh. I would have liked that. I, I always thought it would be funny if he did uh, if he did that and it caught on around the world and then he had the Pope get in on it because I wrote a spoof song involving the Pope. <laughs> um, it was a great time. It was, it was uh, 50 Cent. I'm the motherfucking P-O-P-E. <laughs> um, it was good. Oh, but no, he was a big letdown. He was very, very white when he got there. Yeah. Um, that's racist somehow, I'm sure. Bring it on. Send me emails. Uh, if that's what I got to do to get them. Eric at ericmore.com. <laughs> Go to ericmore.com. Uh, or send your voice. Send your voice and record yourself on on Anchor. You can go and do it on Anchor, which is kind of a pain in the butt because you got to sign up for an account and stuff just to say hi. Or you can just go over to ericmore.com. Just saunter over there and click on the voice recorder button. And talk for 10 minutes about whatever the hell you want. You don't even have to identify yourself. It can be totally anonymous. You just hit record and start talking. Uh, You don't have to fill out anything that says who you are. You don't have to tell us what you're going to say. The only thing I ask is that you tell me if you explicitly do not want your comments played on the air. Uh, Because if you don't tell me not to, I absolutely will do it. Other than that, knock yourself out. Uh, Eric uh, Eric and Gord.com. It's a great looking site. I looked at it today. It's fun. I like our website. I don't get to see it often because the site I use to build it is not like, I don't see what the finished product is. I see a weird thing when I'm building it. It's a weird, it's all code and shit, right? I don't actually see the website until I finish and I get to go look at it, which I rarely have time to do. So yeah, it is neat. I like it. Um, where am I? Don't vote for retards or dig me. Dig me. Where are you? Hey, what happened, buddy? Where'd you go? Come out and say hi. Jesus Christ, you live like 20 minutes from me. Uh, pop by. Be on the podcast. That, that you, you might get a vote if you do that. Yeah. Um, At least. He'll, do, he'll, he'll have a good showing, I think, in BC. Um, it's, he's, he's done a lot of good uh, ass-sucking here. And he's got a lot of support in like Surrey and stuff. That, that's racist too, I guess, if that's the road we're going down. Um, there's lots of Sikhs in Surrey. He's a Sikh guy. They'll support each other. That's So would I, if I were a Sikh guy. Um, yeah, no, it's true. That's and if, we keep voting for white guys. <laughs> if, if, if that's racist, then, you know, whatever. It's true. Um, I do, I absolutely give him credit for showing up here and holding his jag meet and greet. I thought that was brilliant. Um, puns are always impressing, but he hasn't done anything since then. So. <laughs> Jag meet and greet. 
Yeah, that was funny. 